What's going on YouTube? Blaze Shadowthorn here back again with a Wi-Fi battle for you guys. Face cam Wi-Fi battle because you know uh, I haven't been doing a lot of face cam Wi-Fi battles. And you know, I decided, you know, I'm not sure if you guys like it or not, so definitely comment that down below if you want me to do more or less uh face cam Wi-Fi battles. Either way, it doesn't really matter, it's just like one X probably like two or three extra clicks uh during the editing process to, to throw up face cam. So, you know, definitely, definitely comment that down below if you want me to continue face cam. Like, you know, I'll do it whenever I remember, you know, I try and space them out a little bit, but you know, I notice I haven't been doing them for like probably the last like 30 Wi-Fi battles I haven't done face cam. So, you know, I was starting to do it a bit more recently. But anyways, got a Wi-Fi battle here. Really, really good Wi-Fi battle I had in a stream. I'm not even going to try and pronounce your name. Sorry, I just, I don't feel safe doing that and uh, I don't want you to get offended if you watch this battle. So anyways, just want to say, there's a really big battle, threats everywhere, you know, Greninja, uh, Espeon, Heracross, hyper offense everywhere, which, you know, it's exactly how I like to battle, you know, because stall is, uh, ugh, I don't know, I don't like it, but anyways, uh, I brought a, ba a fairly balanced team, you know, I like to, s I'm starting to use this more as my balanced OU team, so, you know, it's, it's in my battle box, it used to be my mono steel team, then Egg Slash went Uber, so... You know, I just threw this uh, up there, but anyways. Gonna start right off in the battle. Star after goes straight away for that Brave Bird. Half of me, part of me, a little, little part of my mind was saying, go for the U-turn, it's gonna be Sash. But, you know, I don't really see a lot of Sash Greninjas running around there. I use Sash Greninja, but not a lot of people do. But uh, it turns out this Greninja is Sash, and uh, Ice Beam's just gonna knock me out. It's, uh, it's fine. I would have liked to keep my Scarf to Staraptor around. It would have uh, definitely put a lot of offensive uh, pressure on his team because Staraptor hits like an absolute truck. But, you know, it's fine that uh, it dies. But anyways, uh, I'm going to predict the switch out pretty much. Uh, I don't know out into what exactly, so I click Will-O-Wisp because uh, I'm pretty sure nothing on his team really can appreciate a burn except perhaps Conkeldur, but I really didn't think he'd bring Conkeldur in on a Rotom. So uh, I am able to get off a burn on that scissor, which was like, yes! And then Lumberry, and I was like, no! But anyways, pretty sure now he wants to go out into his, um, his Conkeldur, because Conkeldur is most likely Guts. So, uh, I'm just gonna click Volt Switch, try and get some, uh, Switch Initiative going on. Uh, do a little bit of damage on that Conkeldur, although I do get a crit. Uh, crit doesn't really matter in the long run, you know, it's just extra damage, which is always, uh, which is always nice. And, uh, gonna go out into Gardevoir, Trace happens, which, uh, just confirms my suspicion it is Guts. So, you know, that's that. Anyways, I'm pretty sure he wants to switch out and go out back out and do a Scizor. Really, I don't have Hidden Power Fire on this uh, Gardevoir, so really there was nothing I could really do. I mean, I could have gone for Focus Blast, but then I would have risked the miss. And uh, anyways, I'm still pretty sure that even though it is resistant hit, that a uh, Hyper Voice, because Pixelate boosted plus Stab, even though it is resistant, it'll still do like around 50%, which is what I was hoping for. And uh, it does a little less, probably around like 35 to 40%, which... You know, it's a resistant hit, you know, I'm not really expecting too much of that, but anyways, it's gonna go down with Ferrothorn, because, uh, really, Ferrothorn's probably the best thing to handle this Scizor, it sets up a Swords Dance, you know, I'm like, okay, that's fine, one Swords Dance, Scizor, I can handle this, I can handle this, it goes for another Swords Dance, I'm like, okay, it's a, it's getting up there, it's getting up there, but, uh, I'm still Ferrothorn, I'm still Ferrothorn, so, you know, that's fine, I get up rocks because uh, he does have that Charizard, I won't get that thing at 50% because so I'm not quite sure what it is. If it's X, I definitely want that 50% off on that thing because, you know, it will definitely reduce its livability and uh, that's always good. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Unfortunately, I did, uh, he already used up his Lumberry, so he won't be doing too much. Defog's right here, which does suck, but uh, overall it's not too awful bad. I'm just going to keep on going for knockoffs. And uh, yeah, it's going to go for Bug Bite right here. And remember, this is now plus six Scizor, so I was like, Okay, this is a bit of a problem. But anyways, Iron Barbs happens, and then Rocky Helmet happens, and fortunately I am able to knock out the, uh, the Scizor with a combination of both of them. If I hadn't, I would have definitely, probably would have gotten swept by the Scizor. Um, I really had nothing for it. But uh, yeah, that was that. He was going to go out and do uh, Heracross now. I'm going to go out into my Gardevoir. Uh, not really sure. You know, uh, I pretty much figured this was a safe switch. Anyways, Mega Horn happens, he hits, and uh, I thought I would take that a lot better because I do have some HP investment, but uh, I don't. I uh, take a hell of a lot of damage from that, but I am able to retaliate back, knock it out with a um, hyper voice. And then uh, Charizard comes in here. For, unfortunately for me, he did debug away those rocks, so you know, that, was a, that was a thing. And uh, it is Charizard Y, so I don't have to worry about any Dragon Dancing, you know, 
Charizard X's and uh, destroying my soul with that. I just have to worry about uh, Charizard I and uh, it flare fire flame throwing flame filleting me to death. No, I guess filleting would be more with, like knife. I don't burning me alive. That's a, that's a good way to put it. Burning me alive. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Greninja right here, and uh, I'm not really sure what to expect from this thing. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse. I really, at this point in time, need a flinch. I really need a flinch because I know uh, Fire Blast is probably gonna happen. And instead, goes for Solar Beam, which uh, it's good information to know because if he, uh, I mean, most Charizard wise carry Solar Beam. I mean, there might be one that doesn't. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I am unfortunately able to take that, even though I am uh, Sash, so you know it really didn't matter. Anyways, gonna go now for hi uh, Hydro Pump. Didn't get the flick the first time. Really hoping I could kill. For unfortunately, I don't, and the uh, flamethrower just knocks me out. If I would have killed, that would have put me in a lot better position, but, you know, that, whatever. And also, if he didn't have, uh, uh, really, now, my best, I don't even know where I was going with that, but anyways. Conkeller happens, Mach Punch, hope it kills, and, uh, fortunately, it does. If it didn't, I would have been at a really bad position, because I would have liked to bring in Rotom Wash, but I'm not sure if he could take a Solar Beam or not. I mean, I am especially off defensive, but I'm still not sure. Anyways. Psychic happens, I am a Salt Vest, though. I am also max HP. It will take down 7 HP. Am I like living all of these attacks and just the skin of my teeth? Gonna go for that knockoff and uh, just destroy that Espeon. Which, you know, it's it's good. I don't like that Espeon. Let's just get it away from me. Get it away from me. Anyways. Uh, sunlight fades. Sunlight fades. You know, that was that. Anyways, he's gonna go out into Conkelder. And I'm, I'm feeling kind of confident right here because, you know, he has a uh, Conkelder and uh, he has one other Pokemon left. I can't really think of at the moment, but um, oh, he has Greninja left, 1 HP. So, uh, uh I'm gonna go out and erode him right here, and uh, I'm pretty sure a Hydro Pump at this range will kill. Uh, I hope a Hydro Pump at this range will kill. So, I'm gonna go for that Hydro Pump, and uh, it doesn't kill, but it does enough damage to the point where I know another Hydro Pump will kill, even though the Citrus Berry activates. Which, you know, it's kind of weird that it's a Citrus Berry, not a Salt Vespian or whatever. He's gonna go for a knockoff right here, he gets a crit, and I'm gonna say this crit matters, and uh, you'll see why. Uh, later on in the match, but anyways, gonna go for another Hydro Pump, knock out the, uh, the Kunk Helder, and now he's gonna bring in the, uh, the Greninja, and, uh, this is where the crit comes into play. I am especially defensive, uh, uh, Run and Watch, so I'm hoping I can live this Dark Ball. And, uh, if he didn't get that crit there, and uh, he also gets a crit with his Dark Balls, if he didn't get those two crits, I'm reasonably confident I would have been able to live and then knock him out with the full switch. But unfortunately for me, he does get to double crits, which will result in the very narrow, in fact, 1 HP uh, loss uh, in his, loss in my favor, win in his favor. I'm not quite sure. Like, I lost, he wins, he wins by one Pokemon. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not quite sure what I wanted to, like, word it like. A, that would be the 1 0 loss in my favor, 1 0 win in his favor. I'm not more no I the 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 the, 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 the I, I I'm just gonna end off the video right here so thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did leave a like and a comment and I'll see you all next time <laughs> bye bye.